Um, so we'll, we'll just, um, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, so, all right. Today's lesson uh, for that I'm doing today, um, it's the first one of my three pre-reading activities for the Book of Mice and Men. Um, so, in front of you is a poem called To a Mouse. Um, I would like us to read that out loud. Um, and what we'll do is, uh, I, there's, there's eight stanzas, so we'll just go around, um, go ahead and read a stanza out loud. Um, I don't know all of your guys' names, so if I point at you, please go ahead and read. Um, so, uh, do you want to go ahead and start us off, read that first stanza for us? Small, crafty, cowering, timid little beast, oh, what a panic is in your little breast. You need not start away so hasty with argumentative chatter. I would not be loath to run and chase you with murdering plowstaff. Good. Go ahead, read the next one. I'm truly sorry man's dominion has broken nature's social union and justified that ill opinion which makes you startle at me, your poor earth-born companion and fellow mortal. Good. I Good. doubt not sometimes that you may steal. What then, poor little beast, you must live? An odd ear and twenty-four sheaves is a small request. I will get a blessing with what is left and never miss it. Good. Yep. Your small, your small house too, in ruin. Its feeble walls, the winds are scattering, and nothing now to build a new one. Of coarse green foliage, and bleak December winds coming, both bitter and piercing. Good. Go ahead, Sean. You saw the fields laid bare and wasted, and weary winter coming fast. And cozy here beneath the blast, you thought to dwell, till crash, the cruel plow passed, out through your cell. Good. Keegan? That small heap of leaves and stubble has, has cost you many a weary nimble. Now you are turned out for all, all your trouble. With, without house or holding to endure the winter's sleety dribble and hoar frost cold. Good. Yeah, go ahead. Um, but little mouse, you are not alone. I'm proving foresight may be in vain. The best eight schemes of mice and men go, go often askew. And leave us nothing but grief and pain for promised joy. Good. All right. Yep, right there. Bring us home. Still you are blessed compared with me. The present only touches you. But oh, I backward cast my eye. Oh, on prospects dreary and forward, though I cannot see and guess and fear. I guess. Good. Awesome. Thank you. So um, from here, what, what I'm going to do is, and on the, it would be on the slide, um, is I have the actual poem itself. Um, so what I would do, as far as this poem goes, is my next step would be to demonstrate for them, because what, uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to break up into pairs, um, and we're going to do a think, pick, pair, share. So what you'll do is, at first I want you to think about it to yourself, um, and you can do that right now for about a minute or two. Um, think about the, and, and what I want as well is to assign you guys stanzas, so I would demonstrate the first two, and then as a group you would each as a pair, you would each have a stanza, and I would leave that to the rest. So, um, real quick, um, you two do the do the third stanza, you two do the fourth stanza, you two do the fifth stanza, you two do the sixth, you two do the seventh. I would do the first two on the board, and I would demonstrate as a class how I want them when they're thinking about it and they're reading over their stanza, how I want them to annotate it, close read it. Um, and they think about the ones that I've just assigned them, how they would do that. So, um, go ahead and do that right now. Just look at the one that I gave you, um, the one that I assigned you. So, um, I'll, actually, I will, have, I will have the last one. Sorry, I will have the last one, right? So, if I give you this, I give you guys the first one. Right? So you can do the yeah, I, yeah, okay, yeah, go ahead. So, you do the first two. Uh, yeah, I would do the first two, yep. Just for yeah, just for a minute or two, um, kind of think about it, and then when you're ready and your partner's ready, go ahead and, and, and talk to them about um, what they think about it, their interpretation of it. Um, and again, what I actually kind of want you to think about with your stanza is um, think about how human nature is represented within that stanza, or how it's talked about, if it's talked about, um, and also hardships. What do you see as far as hardships go with the stanza that you're given? Okay? 
So you might have to read the poem as a whole to kind of get that out of there with what your stance is saying. So go ahead and do that for a few minutes, then talk to your partner, and then we'll come back as a group in about four or five minutes. Okay? Think about yourselves first. Yeah, think about it. And when you, once your partner's ready and you're ready, you can go ahead and talk. Okay? Any questions? All right, awesome. yourselves who would like to share as far as sort of blending your interpretation. Um, I finally got it up as far as kind of questions I want you to look at if you can see it, sort of things to think about um, as far as who's the narrator, who is the audience. Again, that, that aspect, if I go back for you guys real quick. So here's the poem itself. Like earlier we read this class, I would have this up during that section. Then this part I would annotate and I would show them how to do it. Now, granted, I would do two instead of just one. I would change that. But, uh, then this is kind of where we're at now. So, as far as what to do on your own, what to do with your partner. So, all right, all right. So, we're all ready. All right, let's come back as a class. Um, so the first two stanzas, um, kind of what we get out of that. Um, I mean, first I'll, I'll leave it up to you guys. What do you guys think about since we read it as a class? Those first two stanzas. Any thoughts on those? What they're about? Any ideas? Squirmy. Nervous. Squirmy. Nervous. Good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Who do you think is is uh, who do you think is talking right now? Who do you think who do you think like the person is as far as like the narrator goes in this poem? Yeah. I think the lyrical eye can be seen as somebody seeing or just somebody that uh, sees the scene or just like a mouse going. Yeah, very good, very good, yeah. It could be a human, right? Yes. And it could be someone witnessing what's going on with this mouse. Very good. Okay, yeah, very good. All right, real quick, um, for the first group, yeah, what did you guys come across as far as the, the, third, the third stanza goes? Um, we were saying that, like, that mouse, that even mice still need something to live, so since humans have so much, that we can afford to part with a little bit of it just to you know, help these mice live. Good, yeah, very good, yep. Kind of give up a little bit and it won't go really recognized. Yeah, because it's good, very good. Um, anything else? That was first us, yeah. No, that's good, that's very good. Yeah, four stands up. What do you guys think? Um, we had like, so the house got destroyed because of some winds, like Mother Nature. Yeah. Um, and then like it was cold, and they didn't have they didn't have anything to build a new one. And December was almost coming. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Time. Okay. All right. Um, just to kind of wrap it up. So for for this lesson, again, I would have to go through each one, let them know uh, what they want to say. And, and the whole objective for my lesson is the theme is friendships, hardships, and human nature. So using this poem, and we're revolving it around. Of mice and men. That's kind of a unit test. So this poem was an inspiration, uh, kind of by John Steinbeck and naming it of mice and men. Um, and so he kind of used that. And so I would incorporate this as a pre-reading activity to focus on those two concepts of human nature and hardships, because I think in this poem they definitely get at those concepts. So throughout the discussion process, I'll have more time to kind of extract what I'm trying to get at. You know, as far as focusing on those things. Um, for example, you were talking about Mother Nature, I would bring up, well, how does Mother Nature 
how people face and hardships to run into Mother Nature as we notice through the mouse. So things like that. Um, but that's all. That's all I got. So.